Blessed day, Sister Lisa. Our topic to be discussed today is intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of logarithmic function. With learning competency, the learners determine the intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of logarithmic function. Let us review the graph of y is equal to log of x to the base of 2. So we have here the table of values and the graph. So the properties of the graph of logarithmic function is the domain is the set of all positive numbers or x is an element of real number wherein x is greater than 0. The range is the set of all positive real numbers or y is an element of real number. It is a one-to-one -one function because it satisfies the horizontal line test. And the x-intercept is 1 or the zeros is x is equal to 1. And there is no y-intercept. The vertical asymptote is the line x is equal to 0. There is no horizontal asymptote. Let's try to graph y is equal to log of x to the base of 10. So we have here the table of values. If y is negative 2, x is 1 over 100. And if y is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 1 over 10. And if y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. If y is 1, x is 10. And if y is 2, for x is 100. So we have here the graph of y is equal to log of x to the base of 10 wherein the x-intercept is 1 because the graph intersect the Cartesian plane at x equal to 0. So therefore, the zeros is also x is equal to 1. The vertical asymptote is x is equal to 0. So the graph is getting closer to x is equal to 0. And there is no y-intercept. Because the graph did not intersect the y-axis. The graphing transformation of a logarithmic function in the form of f of x is equal to a times the log of x minus c plus d to the base of b. So the value of b, either b is greater than 1 or b is less than 1 but greater than 0, determines whether the graph is increasing or decreasing in y is equal to log of x to the base of 2 the base here or the value of b is 2 which is greater than 1 so if b is greater than 1 then therefore the graph is increasing as you can see the graph is increasing in y is equal to log of x to the base of 1 half wherein the value of b here is 1 half which is b is less than 1 but greater than 0, the graph is decreasing. So the blue graph is decreasing. What about if logarithm is positive and negative? If the logarithm is positive and there is a negative, then therefore it is a reflection or they reflex at x axis, for example f of x is equal to log of x to the base of 10. And the negative log of x to the base of 10 reflect about x-axis. This is the value of a determine the stretch or shrinking of the graph. If a is negative, there is a reflection of the graph about the x-axis. And what about if d the vertical shift is d units up if d is greater than 0 or d units down if d is less than 0. For example, we have the graph of y is equal to log of x to the base of 10 which is the blue graph and the graph of y is equal to log of x minus 1 plus 2 to the base of 10 wherein the value of d here is 2 since 
2 is greater than 0, so therefore the graph moves upward. And the value of D here is 2, so therefore the graph moves 2 units upward. What about for C? The horizontal shift is C units to the right if C is greater than 0, or C units to the left if C is less than 0. Remember that in the form that is a times log of x minus c plus d to the base of b. So that means x minus c. So in the example graph, we have log of x to the base of 3 and log of x plus 4 to the base of 3. So from log of x to the base of 3, we have x plus 4, wherein the value of c here is negative 4 because the equation is x minus c. So therefore, x is equal to negative 4. So, since the value of C is uh, less than 0, which is negative 4, so therefore, the graph moves 4 units to the left. So, if the x-intercept of log of x to the base of 3 is 1, then it moves 4 units to the left. So, therefore, the x-intercept of log of x plus 4 to the base of 3 now is negative 3 or the zeros is negative x is equal to negative 3. Analyze the function f of x is equal to log of x plus 4 to the base of 3 using the transformation to describe how the graph is related to y is equal to log of x to the base of 3. Identify also the intercepts, asymptotes, and zeros. So from the graph, so you can observe that the graph is moved Four units to the left. So what will be the intercepts, asymptotes, and zeros? So the x-intercept is negative 3 or that is negative 3, 0 and the zeros is negative 3. And the vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative how to find for the x-intercept and zeros? For y is equal to log of x to the base of 3, we're going to let y equal to 0. Then, we're going to change logarithmic form into exponential form. So, we have now 0 is equal to log of x to the base of 3, changing this into exponential form that is 3 raised to 0 is equal to x. And 3 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So therefore, x is equal to 1. For vertical asymptote, we have y is equal to log of x to the base of 3. Just get the x then equate that into 0. So we have now x is equal to 0. So therefore, the vertical asymptote is x is equal to 0. For y is equal to log of x plus 4 to the base of 3. To find for the x-intercept, we let y equal to 0, so change y into 0, then change logarithmic form into exponential form, so that is 3 raised to 0 is equal to x plus 4. And 3 raised to 0 is equal to 1, so we have 1 is equal to x plus 4. To get the value of x, so we have now x is equal to 4 minus 1, or x is equal to 3. So therefore, the x-intercept is for vertical asymptotes, y is equal to log of x plus 4 to the base of 3. Equate x plus 4 into 0, then get the value of x which is equal to negative 4. For y is equal to 2 log of x to the base of 3, so let y equal to 0, so change y into 0, then Transform this into exponential form. So we have 3 raised to 0 is equal to, remember that we have 2 log of x to the base of 3. So from the power law, we have 2 here is the exponent of x. So therefore, we have 3 raised to 0 is equal to x squared. Or x squared is equal to 3 raised to 0 is 1. Then squaring getting the square root of both sides, so we have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 1, 
wherein x is equal to 1. And for the vertical asymptote, equate x equal to 0, so x is equal to 0. For your activity, graph of a right path, direction, sketch the graph of the following logarithmic function. Determine their intercept, zeros, and asymptotes. So we have here, number 1 is f of x is equal to log of x to the base of 5. The number 2, f of x is equal to 3 log of x to the base of 2. So you're going to write the x-intercept, y-intercept, horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote, and zeros. Then for activity 2, graphing transformation. Sketch the graph of the following logarithmic function in one Cartesian plane. Analyze the graph of each function by observing transformation. Describe how the graph is related to y is equal to log of x to the base of 2. Then identify the intercepts, asymptotes, and zeros of each function. That is from number 1 to 4. And that's all for our topic for today. I hope you learned something today. And again, thank you for listening and watching. So enjoy your holiday vacation. Have a nice day. Thank you.